Hi everyone, my name is Marla Ernest and I am the English Language Development Specialist for Lindsay High School in the Lindsay Unified School District, which is right in the heart of the San Joaquin Valley in California. Today I'm going to share with you a very powerful tool that our district uses to track the progress of learners. It's called Empower. And Empower can do some really wonderful things. So I'm going to focus on three things today, starting with grouping my learners. Learners can be grouped homogeneously based on their English language development. So what I'm showing you on the screen now are my learning groups. I teach four levels of English language development, starting with beginning all the way to bridging, which are my learners getting ready to exit the English language development class. While my classes are comprised of heterogeneous groups and we work in that format for projects and whole class instruction, this allows me to do some really strategic small group instruction. It also allows for personalization for my learners. Our English language development standards are called measurement topics, so that's why you see this little MT here in the corner. And within those measurement topics, we have learning targets, so that's why you see this little LT here on the screen. Those standards are the California state standards, and they cut across all levels of English language development. But for especially for direct instruction, I want to be able to look at my learners based on their knowledge base. So within a particular measurement topic, and my learners are all very well aware of this language, I can look and see what my learners are doing. Now, just for the informational purpose, I want to clarify that we are on summer break. So some of my bubbles that I'm going to show you may show zero. But what would happen is if I had a group of learners working on their greetings, I would have a number showing here that would say, I still have four learners who have not mastered this. That group of learners can then be pulled aside for a small group instruction that's very strategic on how we greet people in conversational English. So what's really nice is I can tailor this for specific learners. They have their own lessons, their own resources, their own activities according to their level. So let me show you one of these real quickly at a different level. So you've got kind of a different view. So for my bridging kids, I can click this view more button. And here's one of the last measurement topics we worked on. And you can see that I had 30 learners who had not yet mastered all the information for this learning standard. I could pull this group of bridging students in my classes and work with them specifically on this analysis piece. So it gives me a really concrete way to group my learners.